Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out these constellations and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, Can stars predict your personality? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need the astrological signs, a pair of scissors, some cards, and some double-sided tape. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to prove that astrology is nothing but a bunch of bull. <laughs> is this your kind? <laughs> With a simple and easy test that you can do right at home. First, you gotta head online and search for astrological signs and personalities. And then, you're gonna print that twice. Set one of these aside, and you're gonna take your second set, and you're gonna cut out the personality. <laughs> and you're gonna cut out just the personality without the sign or the birth date. Now, count out 12 playing cards. Place one strip of double sided tape, attach the personality to the card. Now, mix all the cards up until you absolutely have no idea which personality matches with which sign. What you're going to do is read through every single one of them until you find the one that best matches your personality. Alright, when you've found the personality that best matches yours, you're going to pull out your pieces of paper that you printed out earlier, and you're going to match your card with what it says on the paper. Now, check this out. My personality card didn't match up with my birth sign. So what happens if your personality card actually matches up with your birth sign? Does that mean that astrology is right? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Astrology got its start when people started observing stars. Ancient people would observe one event happening, such as plants starting to grow, and observe the sun rising in a certain constellation. Since the sun rising in a certain constellation would predict certain events happening, the ancient people thought the same about human events. Such as if a good king was born under a certain constellation, then the king's child born under the same constellation would also mean he will become a good king. The problems with this astrological ideology is that they don't always match up with the predicted results. Even if your personality card matched up with your birth sign, that doesn't mean that astrology is right. It just means that these claims had a 1 out of 12 chances of being right, which means at least 1 out of 12 people may get an exact match. However, if astrology was really able to predict your personality, astrological claims would match up 12 out of 12 times. A second problem with these claims is that people's personalities change throughout their life. So a kind and sharing child can grow up to be a mean and selfish adult. Since these claims don't always match up and constantly change, it's for these reasons that astrology is not real. So now you know that astrology is BS. Bull spit! You know, seeing your personality fall under the wrong sign is why science is so cool. You know, it's kind of hard to see with these glasses on. 